Okay, guys, on today's episode, we have something really built, not bought. He's literally built this from scratch, painted the whole engine bay, engine swap, so much bits and bobs, guys. I hope you all enjoy today's episode. And guys, this is what we all do. You know, as a community, we come together to help people make their dreams come true. Um, this is an absolute amazing build, guys. I hope you all enjoy today's episode. <laughs> Yes guys, thanks for tuning in on another episode of Bam the Petra Head and on today's episode we've got an all time classic for you we've got a Honda Civic K20 1994 plate guys and this one here is absolutely beautiful I'm loving that colour, this is owned by Sam and he's going to tell us all about it he's completely stripped it out guys track ready let's just say it like that um the engine hasn't been touched in any way so this is a rare one guys i haven't seen a k20 that hasn't been messed around with in a long time um guys stay tuned in because it's going to be crazy hi guys my name's sam i own this eg94 uh, reg do own it for the last four years um done a little bit of work to it nothing too crazy recently just done the uh, k20 swap which we will talk about in a bit um, but other than that, just been getting it ready for track purposes and having fun on the streets. Guys, so I'm just going to talk you through and um, show you what I've done to the engine. Um, fortunately enough, I tried to get rid of the bonnet catch, which was unfortunately put down there. But everything was done by me and a very good friend of mine, uh, a friend called Matt. He's uh, helped me pretty much with near enough everything. He's the smartest person that I know today and best friend. Um, but other than that, the engine is a completely stock K20. Um, just done a little bit of touches here and there. Um, but other than that, the engine is completely bone stock. I, when I bought it, stripped it all apart. Um, done all the bearings, seals and everything you can imagine which wasn't cheap, but it had to be done just for my safety purposes. Um, other than that, just S2K rad, um, and of a lot of patience and time, um, putting it all together. I've done it all myself in a unit um, with a bunch of friends, like I say, but the main key, yeah, was, uh, was Matthew De Silva yeah. rating. Big shout out to Matthew De Silva on yeah, that man. one. Um, I just wanted to ask a question as well, because obviously a lot of people say the parts for these Hondas are so much. Like, how did you find that? Was it hard getting parts for it, seeing as it's older? No, to be fair, um, a good company, Jap Service Parts, local people. Okay. And they supplied me with all of my um, uh, like seals, every, everything from top to bottom. Um, and then your good old trusty Tegawa. They, okay. um, they supplied me with if anything that I couldn't get or was a little bit fatigue or special, um, yeah, went straight to them. But other than that, it was a couple bits from eBay, yeah. um, cutting, trimming, and just having fun with it, really. Just mm. seeing what we could get around with, with um, as cheap as anything, yeah. really. Yeah, man. Tried to make it, I ain't got the most amount of money, yeah. just made it. <laughs> Who does, cheap, yeah. Cheap but you know it is, these Hondas, they got a good community, that's the yeah. thing. That's the thing, you got a good community, yeah, so man. it's everyone much more easier. Yeah, everyone try to help you out. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been good, but it's just standard passport mounts, um, and yeah, just completely stock. Good. Right, guys, I'll just uh, show you little bits here and there about the um, about the car. So I did paint the whole engine bay. When I um, got ready to take the engine out, I um, had a little look at it. It wasn't in the best shape, but it wasn't the worst. But I thought, while it's out, got to be done. So I prepped it all myself, um, as I am a mechanic and a bit of a MET guy. So I um, yeah, prepped it all back, treated all the rust, um, done everything that I thought was right, um, and then got a friend called Phil. Phil's the man, he uh, come down, sprayed it for me. Do you know I mean, it's all part of friends no, and family. Definitely, um, but that's a good job they do. Yeah, that's a no, good job. I, I can't complain. Um, do you know what I mean? For in the house type job, yeah. it was yeah, solid, solid. Um, and then with the plate, basically the only reason I went for the K20 was because someone bought me the plate before. Okay. Um, 
yeah, appreciate it to them. They know who they are. <laughs> um, but it doesn't actually stand for built. It yeah. stands for bullet. Uh, it's a completely different meaning. Everyone who sees it says built. Is it built? And unfortunately, it's not. Um, hopefully, soon, it will be getting built. Um, depending on what route I want to go, it'll either be as close to 300 brake and then I want to shot a NOS or I will just go straight turbo and just stop messing about. But Send it, it to the moon, depends. isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In due time, part yeah. two's coming, isn't it, yeah, guys? Yeah, <laughs> all, all money, in it? All money. Right, guys, we'll just talk about some of the um, suspension parts and uh, everything that lays you down on the floor, basically. So I've just got coilovers on it. Um, not gone for cheapies, but not the most expensive, somewhere about mid-range. Um, but they do the job absolutely perfect for street use as well. Um, at the moment, I've only got budgets on the back. Usually I do run semi-slicks all, all the way around, um, which are just, I'm pretty sure they're S2KRs or something like that. Um, just testing them at the moment, do you know what I mean? New to this stuff, so I'm just going through a lot of semi-slick tyres, finding out which ones I, I prefer. Um, at the moment, they do absolutely well, in, uh, especially in conditions like here. Um, when it's wet, wet though, it's just a no-go. Um, but See? other than that, yeah, just lower control arms, which was from a good friend, um, Savage Performance, Kai. He, uh, Big shout out to Kai. Yeah, right, he sponsored me then. Um, and he will be helping me out with further things in the future as well, hopefully. Um, other than that, with the exhaust, um, we've got a flick down exhaust at the back here. Okay, at the moment as well, I am only on stock brakes, so just drums from the 1.5 still. And then um, I think they're two, four, two millimeter front brakes um, off the top of my head, but completely stock. So you've got to be, you got to be wary of what you're doing. Yeah. Um, you can't be leaving it to the last minute because they do, they do just fade, and yeah, they're not, they're not the best of things, especially when you're doing a decent amount of speed. Uh. Um, but other than that, yeah, not, not really anything else to it. I will be doing all the bushes and everything in the future. Um, but right now, just having fun with it. Alright guys, right, so we'll just start and talk about some of the other bits that we've done. Um, always got to do a little toe and iron, can't go wrong with them. Um, typical Civic boy. Uh, but <laughs> then, with exhaust, we've got a flick down. Um, literally, all custom built from what we had in the unit of mine. Um, yeah, just doing bits and bobs, I mean, other friends' cars, just makeshifted a whole exhaust. Um, manifold though is S2K for all branch to one, um, which is honestly out of this world, love it. Just a two and a half inch though, um, so it's not too loud, but it still screams, do you know what I mean, when you're in VTEC. exhaust is uh, fully flowing with a back box um, other than that it's like I say makeshift <laughs> um, and then as you know these weird things with the EGs the boot flips up when they come down um, something that I've always loved about the EGs uh, can't go wrong with them just a bit different yeah, exactly. love it yeah, yeah. just it's like a little bit different it would be good like you say for uh, shopping stuff like yeah. that for the grannies but at the moment <laughs> you ain't getting no shopping to yeah, stay in there me. at all <laughs> Completely stripped, mate. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, but yeah. other than that, little bits and bobs that I've got planned to do here. Um, obviously, I'd like a new little spoiler. Been looking for some clear head, uh, rear lights. Sorry. Um, obviously, some of these things are so hard to come by. Mm. You're just waiting on on the right time, really. Yeah. Um, and other than and that, the right price, isn't it? Right price. Yeah, right price, always, right time. <laughs> JDM at the moment, they've gone up. They've um, gone up. But yeah, other than that things just trying to keep it as clean as possible cool guys right so we're inside the car um, only done a few couple bits more for my driver um, capability and for what I like really so I've gone with the Corbu uh, bucket seat um, medium size I am a small lad but it's still quite good just put a couple layers on um, I will be looking into harnesses do you know what I mean you've got to have that extra support always can't go wrong with that um, I've got myself a Sparco steering wheel, it's a bit used at the moment, I need to probably send it off, get it treated, um, but got the old snap-on boss kit, helps you get in and out of the car, 
um, and obviously it's a, it's a good looker. Everybody um, likes to ask a question on how does it work and everything. <laughs> um, other it. than that, got the uh, what is it, a DC5 box with the uh, plate just to mock it all up basically and get it in. Um, this is a 1320 um, shifter knob. Um, it's not an actual one. I've seen the prices of them. They want like something silly, silly money for them. <laughs> but I got an eBay special which looks near enough the same, so I love it. Can't go wrong. Um, DC, uh, sorry, not DC. EP3 Type R seat. Um, luckily, well, not luckily. A friend of mine crashed his car, and uh, I got I picked up the seat rather cheap off of him, which was a good friend. Um, praise to him. <laughs> but um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much a black dash inside. Try to keep it as normal going forward and as stripped out as going back. So, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, as you can see, there's no nothing in here at all. Uh, Just uh, yeah, you and the car really. I like it. It's, it's pretty good though. You've done a good job with it. Yeah, it's nice and clean. All right, boys. So last thing, when we um. When we were talking about the old uh, gearbox situation and everything when you put putting the k-series in um all i've gone with is just the k-tune plate to get it mounted and then uh, a dc5 shifter box with the dc5 cables and that is literally it we um yeah put it all together you get bolts that come with it in a kit um and yeah just mock it all up test it make sure it's going through everything and other than that, little shift knob just to uh, have fun. Boom, we're going for our first drive, guys. Let's see what this feels like. Let's go. <laughs> so, obviously, you can definitely hear the road, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah. Semi slicks, they're very hard sidewalls, so oh. it's, um, yeah, you feel everything. It's got no, not a lot of lean, especially not in the uh, tyres, anyway. And uh, Paris, no Paris steering? Nah, no Paris steering, <laughs> straight. no ABS. This is straight driver's no car. No traction control, no traction, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Just VTEC, <laughs> literally. No, it's not that loud, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's not. Been about Big shout out to Daniel yeah, on that one, yeah, big man. shout out to Dan. Yeah, the outcast crew, he's, yeah. uh, he's been working hard on that for the last couple couple months, I would say now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and he's paying off that, I see him, he's, he's really, he's grown fast, yeah. he's doing his thing. Yeah, it's shocking yeah, in yeah. the last couple couple months, man, we've got almost coming up to seven, eight hundred followers yeah. on Instagram. Um, Some cool just posting all the time, do you know what I mean? Keeping yeah. people updated, we're doing nearly every event you could imagine yeah. just um yeah, yeah keeping ourselves up we had one the other day you know, it was quite a good event mims yeah, yeah mims was an absolutely amazing day yeah, some day. of the people that we met are yeah top top class people man i, yeah. I love it um obviously being all hondas everyone's gonna love their yeah, own honda it, yeah. and everyone <laughs> else's so it was a good day um 
and yeah, got a lot of lot of notice. Mm. Um, and Dan, yeah, he, he's he's flying, man. He's yeah. absolutely flying. So guys, make sure you go check them out on Instagram. Go give them a follow as well, because you know that car community day, we need it to grow, guys. Because you know they deserve their thing, guys. Come on. So like, what do you think then? Like, pros and cons of this album? What would you say? Give, what are the pros, like? Obviously, um, building it is yours, is personal. Yeah, I know exactly everything that comes into it, innit? Yeah. Um, yeah, just yeah, because I've I've done everything. I know near enough what what could go wrong, what what I need to do if anything's happening. I uh. I can almost kind of just feel it. I'm like, oh yeah, I know this is doing that or something. Um, but it's an absolute. Like, I, I will always say it's a beautiful car to drive. Um, a lot of people get in it, go bloody hell, this is low, or it's solid, um, it goes through a lot of fuel, but that's why you build them, do you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. You, put, you, you push it to where you want to be. This is like the definition of built, not bought. Yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. When you put your foot down, you really feel it, innit? Yeah, yeah. That's not even close to VTEC, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's um, especially these. What I've, I know is called Tahitian green. 
okay. even though it looks blue. Yeah, that's so, what I was about to yeah, say. <laughs> it's, it's the Japanese vibe there, weird and wonderful. But um, yeah, other than that, yeah, just make it as presentable as, as possible. possible as I can. Yeah. And um, I, I, I don't want to get in it and be like, oh, I can feel a draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. today's episode with Bam the Petrohead the Outcast crew are absolutely crazy guys these guys got some crazy Hondas make sure you go check them out on Instagram big shout out to Dan for putting us guys through together and Sam here I really appreciate you coming on the show yeah guys this is what you call built not bought a last of a dying breed he's absolutely such a cool guy I'll leave their Instagram you know inside the details below so you can go check it out and you know you got any words other than that man just Big shout out for Dan. He's representing the crew so much. Do you know what I mean? Started this thing from scratch. He's flying it out. Um, like I say, if you ever want to get involved, you want to go to all of the shows, um, tracks, drag racing, we're sorting it out, man, for everyone and anybody. So come and get involved, man. Come on, guys. And I, as I said, I'll leave their Instagram in the description below. Um, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got much more coming, guys. Thanks for watching. Bam 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 b